Hey everyone, uh, so today we're gonna start a new tutorial. Don't worry, the Meetup app it's not done. We're gonna do other stuff. It just I get a lot of questions about Redux, and I just want to set up it and and uh, show you like uh, how for myself I understand it, and maybe that's gonna help you to maybe get better or to learn Redux. So this tutorial gonna be talk uh, learn Redux together. So. Uh, that's gonna be in the seven part. So as you can see, that's not gonna be like my meetup app. That's gonna be much like uh, in a small amount of time. So I want to done everything like that, like um, for the in the next day. So uh, so for the part one for the today, we're gonna set up Redux, and uh, we're gonna just uh, after that jump already on the part two and part three. We're gonna do a lot more stuff. So for today, what we need to do first, it's to um, uh, if you don't have a Create React app, so we're gonna use Create React app. So first thing I ask you to do it's to do um, uh, if you use npm npm i dash g Create React app. So we're gonna install the Create React app in your global uh, library, uh, new uh, global bin. If you use yarn yarn global add Create React app. After that, what you need to do. It's you for running that you do create react app space and now you put the name of what you whatever you want to get the name. After that, when it's done, you do CD inside your project. You do npm start or yarn start. Perfect. So for Redux, for get set up. So this is what you're supposed to get after you get a uh, uh, yarn start start. You get a folder like that where you have your app.js, you have your index.js, and everything. But we're gonna change some of stuff here. Don't. This is not a course about design, so uh, don't uh, judge me with this design. So, so what we're gonna do? It's uh, we're gonna install uh, some library for now. We're gonna install Redux. So npm install Redux and React Redux. Why do I need React Redux? Redux is a library. It's built for any kind of frame, uh, JavaScript library or framework. So it can be used with JavaScript. It can be used with Ember, Angular, uh, Vue, and whatever you want. So React Redux is the library for plug Redux. So after that, when it's done, inside the source folder, we're going to create a new file called store.js. So uh, here, we're going to import three things from Redux. We're gonna import create star, apply middleware, and compose. So we need to create a store. So that's uh, normal. We import a create star. Apply middleware. It's some middleware we want to apply to the store. So it's like we want to enhance. And then compose. It's for for make the final final the answer. So I'm gonna show you what what we are gonna need to do. But the thing I forget. It just because why we need Redux? Redux is built for making really scalable application. It's don't think about like here we're gonna use Redux for to-do list, yeah, but don't use it for make a to-do list. I mean you can like for me I'm gonna use it because I love Redux so much. But use it for when you want to think about scaling and you want to push your application like to the to the limit. So uh, it's easy to add feature. It's so much easy. So Redux finally gonna take all your state of your. You're gonna put your state as global inside your application. So that's gonna be much more easy to get your props on some components. For example, you have like maybe a thousand component in your app, and you want. And this is really painful if you use it with React. First thing, uh, uh, good job if you make uh, one thousand component with React with no Redux or state managing. But if you did that, I'm sure you already understand this is that was painful. So because you need to pass down your props to some level, but when it's like a, an hundred layer uh, or just two layer down, that's really uh, bad and really hard. So that's why Redux came here. It's like you want to use uh, your state in this component. This component is really far away from something else. You can just connect this component and use the state. So for the one who came from uh, backend stuff, maybe what that can help you, and this is what I told to with some of my students, it's 
thing about the action, it's like your uh, controller. A talk uh, thing about your uh, your reducer, it's gonna be like your schema model. So it's like a, how you want to manage finally your 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 model. And thing about your store as a uh, like a database. So, so something like MongoDB, something like that. So I hope this little intro makes sense. So so we're gonna continue. So first thing we need to create a store. So here, what I'm gonna do, it's any uh, first thing to import my root reducer from, and now I'm gonna create a folder called reducer. We're gonna jump right here right now. So I'm gonna create a folder called reducer. Inside this folder, I'm gonna create an index.js. So this way I don't need to have slash in the name because by default JavaScript do it. Here, I'm gonna import from Redux. I'm gonna import combine reducer because the combine reducer means we're gonna take a lot of, of your reducer finally and we're gonna create a, a big one so finally it just uh, like it just map over all your reducer and create just inside one big object so here I'm gonna export default combine reducer oops export default combine reducer and I'm gonna have to do's gonna be for now just a, a function will return an, an empty array so we do a reducer it's a function will return an, a, a, a data perfect here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna export default create store. Oh, uh, not an object. Take the first argument is the reducer. Second argument is the initial state we're gonna put on the file. And third argument gonna be compose. So we're gonna put the answer. Now I'm gonna copy paste one line of code I have right here. So it's a boot snap. It's free. It's a um, it's a library. Uh, it's a tool built on Electron where you can paste snippet of code and uh, can be reused so so i'm gonna just copy paste this one so finally this tool here it's for open the windows dev tool extension of redux for install this one you just need to search google extension redux and that's going to be the first one and one you can already set up it's react dev tool react dev tool and you install the uh, this first one <clears throat> but I have already this one. If you see, React DevTool gonna work like that, and Redux gonna be this thing. But now it's not working. But it's not working because now I have no star first thing, and uh, you need this line of code here for make it uh, available. So now I have my React. So if I open my inspector and I take my uh, React here, I'm gonna have my, my component tree. But here, as you can see, I have only my app. So I'm gonna make it at the bottom, it's gonna be easier, yeah. So I have my app with no props at all. So now what I can do, it's inside my index.js right here. I'm gonna change stuff here. I'm gonna import provider coming from React Redux. So yes, this line, this thing here we import is where we connect React with Redux. So I'm gonna wrap provider and I'm gonna pass here wired inside the app. So now my app gonna have provider. If I save now, I'm gonna receive an error because provider need to have a store. So this is the store we create. So I'm gonna import store coming from my store right here. And now I can plug my provider with the store. So if I do this and everything is supposed to work after that, now I'm gonna get my React Dev tool here working right at the top and now I have my state and I have my to do here inside my react now I have the provider who wrap my app that's it but now we want some other middleware we're gonna set up already that we're gonna use it in the next video so we're gonna so here I apply middleware so here what I want is to do a const middleware where I'm gonna have an array and here inside my compose I'm gonna apply middleware and I'm gonna do dot 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 middleware why you need to do dot 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 middleware here? It's because apply middleware already return an array. So finally here, if you do dot dot dot, you don't have an array inside an array. So you're gonna spread. So if I do this now, nothing gonna happen because I need to install some uh, middleware. The first one we're gonna install just for uh, this to do without a API gonna be yarn add dash d redux logger. So this is a way to get all your um, action in your console so it's almost like you do a console that log on every action so here finally i'm gonna import create 
logger from Redux logger and I can put it right inside my middleware create logger and this is a function so now I'm gonna have it in my middleware but we have no way to see it because it's um, we have nothing so it, so uh, we're gonna play with this in the next episode so as you can see in the readme I'm gonna put everything on github don't worry in the readme we set up redux after that this part gonna be all about in the local uh, place so we thought like uh, nothing to say but after that we're gonna create any json apis uh, by using json uh, server so this is a, a library for make it a really easy json api and so all this part gonna be with the ajax request so that's gonna be uh, this for the first episode so uh, i hope you enjoy and uh, we see in the next one bye